Hi there, I'm Sonal Mehrotra Kapoor and as we look at the end of the year, it's a time for a lot of reflection. People are looking back at a year gone by which has not been an easy one, right? It's been a tough for so many families, for yours and for mine. People lost their jobs, people got into relationship, out of relationships, financial mess. Bottom line, if one could be really frank, it's been a shitty year. And if you are looking at perhaps some New Year perspective, then that for you is coming with this book called Do Epic Shit. Perhaps more of it, right? So what exactly is this book about? Is it going to solve your problems, create new ones? God knows. Well, we've got Ankur with us here. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. To give us some insight into how much more shittier can this get and why do you want to make this so shitty? No, this, this book is hopefully as an escape to everything that you might be struggling with. It, it's just a reflection of my life and how I have lived with this philosophy of do epic shit, which has been my life motto for several years. And all that I've done is just documented my journey in a book that hopefully everyone would like and appreciate. But I thought since this book is about doing epic shit, let's do like the shittiest rapid fire of the year okay i've got a couple of questions here for you ankur which is about it's like a daily shit list okay okay real life situations in everyday life that are thrown at you and i want to know how ankur deals with it okay you have to but it's a rapid fire sure, so you've so got to keep it yes. very very quick exactly. and we are gonna hear some reactions from the audience on that one so are you ready let's play let's play okay so the shittiest rapid fire of the year with Ankur. So, how to fight with, oh crap, it's Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. I'm thinking of a short answer, but I recognize I'm taking long to give you that short answer. Gotta be quick. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, Monday's becoming Tuesday now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> look forward to what you'll be doing at the end of the day when the day is over. Okay, good. Let's move to the next one. My peers seem to be doing very well, but I bloody missed out on my promotion. My life is shit. If you're not ready to take on your peers' entire life is yours, don't ever compare yourself with anybody ah, else. Ah, I like that one. Okay, next one. My boss is a demon. She has biases. I never get my due at work. If your boss is a reflection of the company culture, leave the company. If your boss is an aberration in the company culture, please have the moral courage to report it. Mm -hmm. Nice. I like that one. Next one. Not making it to my dream college. Damn, I worked so hard. College is overrated. You are not going to have anything come out of college if you give it the importance that you think it deserves. I actually agree with this one. Okay. Next. And let's talk about, you know, careers, etc. you've talked about and your own personal life. If you had to give it like one line to people who are still on the borderline wondering whether to switch their entire career in their 40s, even in their 50s sometimes, what do you tell them? One line. Uh, do it. You, you just have one life and you don't want to be living with just one identity all your life. Do it. Okay, next one is tricky. It's about dealing with competition. And I want to know how Ankur deals with, say, Simon Phoenix of the world, or say, Jay Shetty. Say these people come out with books tomorrow. How do you deal with it? I'm not competing with anyone. No, I, I'm, I'm competing with the person that I was yesterday. That's the only one that I'm competing with. Nice answer there. Okay. So number seven, and let's get to some personal issues now. Finding out that your partner's cheating on you. That means... He or she was never your partner. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Number eight. Do you marry someone you love or someone who loves you? Oh, you marry someone you love. Being happy is not somebody else's responsibility. It's yours. So. Nice. Nice. I like that one. Number nine. Do you take the job with more money or more fun? If fun comes with learning, definitely more fun. Okay, I'm not sure if that answered the question, but <laughs> anyways, number 10, you say, do epic shit. That's the name of the book. Tell us the shittiest thing and the shittiest moment of your life. Ooh, that would be when I was standing in front of my startup, nearby.com, realizing we're running out of money and we had to lay off 25% of our workforce. Ouch. That was the shittiest moment. 
Handsome. That was hard. It was also very candid and honest. Thank you so much, Ankur. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody for doing here. And good luck with the book. Thank Guys, you, you can all pre-order the book and it's all available. And you can all write to us with feedback on which way it's going to be. Thanks so much, Ankur. Thank this so was much, lovely. Arul. Thank you so much.